Hi, this is Kevin from Sonoma Partners, and today I'd like to show you Unified Service Desk, otherwise known as USD, for Dynamics 365. USD is a locally installed wrapper for Dynamics. It's a highly configurable tool for unifying disparate applications together, as is often found in call center environments. If this is the first time you're ever seeing the Dynamics 365 platform, stop right now. It's important that you understand what Dynamics is before we can adequately discuss how USD wraps around that application. If you haven't seen Dynamics before, check out some of our basic Dynamics 365 training videos to acquaint yourself with the system. Now, one of the major benefits of USD being a local installation is that it can integrate with telephony systems. Watch as I simulate an inbound call. A session opens automatically for the contact record in question. You should notice right away that Dynamics no longer has its basic navigation elements at the top of the screen in USD. This is the primary difference you're going to notice between the Dynamics experience in USD and the web client. However, by relinquishing navigation control to USD, we're able to do some interesting things. You'll notice that a session was created for my inbound call, and within that session, I have an instance of Dynamics that's open. You'll also notice that I have a second application open in this session, representing an ancillary system. In fact, Dynamics is just one application that can be hosted in the USD context. Any application with available hooks and APIs can be loaded within USD and can interact with the USD wrapper. Being able to control multiple applications from one master session also allows for additional functionality. An infrastructure for call scripting is useful in and of itself for the call center audience. But what's more compelling about this feature is that it can hook into different actions within each application in USD. So as a user navigates through the different conditional branches in the call script, we can open ancillary applications. We can look up knowledge in a knowledge base. And it doesn't just have to be the native Dynamics 365 KB repository. Other corporate wiki pages or websites are searchable, and query parameters can be passed in automatically. Of course, we can do something trivial, like prompting the system to create a new Dynamics record. Navigation of the system in general occurs via the toolbar at the top of the screen where we can access dashboards, which are often used as work lists. This can be an entry point into Dynamics, or it can be an entry point into other USD host applications in general. You'll notice at the bottom of the screen that session information can be kept too, for KPI tracking and reporting purposes. And that's a brief overview of Unified Service Desk for Dynamics 365. As always, if you have any questions, or if you'd like to explore how to utilize USD at your organization, we invite you to reach out and to give us a shout at sonomapartners.com.